right now let's look at question number 13 of the applied paper so this is the simple harmonic motion question so one end of a light elastic string with natural length a attached to a fixed point o and the other end is at attached a particle p of mass m p has been set to vertical motion so this is vertical simple harmonic motion when it is moving vertically downward, it passes through a point A below O where OA is simple A. Its speed is, and at that point, at capital A, its speed is given to be that. Right. Particle comes to instantaneous rest at point B, 3A below O. Show that modulus of elasticity of the string is that. Right, so let's draw a diagram. There's our fixed point O. Then this is point B. And there's another point we have to mark that is point A. Right. So speed at point A is 2 ag, speed at point B is 0 because it's instantaneous rest. So root 2 ag is the speed here, speed here is uh, 0, maybe, and OA is what, OA length is A, B is 3a below o so then a b length is 2a right okay so now from that given information we have to show modulus of elasticity is equal to 3 over 2 mg right so we will use conservation of mechanical energy right take this as potential energy zero level then apply conservation of mechanical energy principle we are going to apply it to point b and point a so first let's apply to point a at point a there's what kinetic energy because of the speed so you have half m root 2 ag squared and it has potential energy m times g times 2a so that is potential energy then there is there any elastic potential energy what is the formula for elastic potential energy? Let's recall that. This is lambda x squared 2L. So, L is what? L is natural length of the string. X is the extension. Lambda is the modulus of elasticity. Right. So, what is the natural length of the string? A. So, at capital A, there is no extension, so that means there is no elastic potential energy. So that is zero. Right. Then let's look at point B. What are the energy at point B? Kinetic energy is zero because velocity is zero and potential energy level is zero here. So both of those are zero. But this has elastic potential energy because now the string is extended by how much? Natural length is A, total length is 3A, so extension is 2A. So this is the extension of the string. Right, so then elastic potential energy is going to be lambda, X is 2A squared and the natural length is A. Right, now simplify.
so I can cancel 2a and 2a here and simplify what do we have here half m 2ag 2mga equals 2a lambda so that is 2 2 cancel mag plus 2ma mga so 3mga 2a lambda right so then lambda equals 3mga over 2a or 3mg over 2 right so first part is done modulus of elasticity lambda is 3 over 2 times mg right okay so that part is done then let's look at the next part we have to show the equation of the motion p is given by that x double dot is the derivatives with respect to time so this is the second derivative where o p is x so we are measuring the length from or displacement from o and x is greater than a so this is extended the string is extended not in natural length or slack and omega has to be positive constant to be determined right so let's draw a general position for this motion o let's say this is particle p o p this is length x this is greater than the natural length right so what are the forces acting here mg down and tension up that and this is going down with acceleration x double dot right so we'll apply f equals ma down to particle p so then what do we have mg minus tension is equal to m times x double dot that is the acceleration right then let's recall tension formula for the string that is lambda x over l x is the extension l is the natural length of the string so the extension is this much no? natural length is a total is x so extension is x minus a right so now we can use that so we get mg lambda uh, lambda also we found lambda is this one we'll use that 3 over 2 mg extension is x minus a natural length is what natural length is a equals m x double dot right now cancel what you can m m m cancel <coughs> then this becomes x double dot equals g minus 3g x minus a over 2a so let's take the common denominator here so 2g a minus 3g x plus 3g a over 2a then x double dot is equal to minus 3g x plus 5g a over 2a right now let's see what we want to show we want to show the equation of motion is given by this one so we have to create this term x minus 5a over 3 right so move everything to uh, 
left hand side so this becomes plus 3g x over 2a minus 5g a over 2a equals 0 then we want but let's look at what we want you want something square omega squared times x minus 5a over g right so what do we need to do we need to have only x so we take this part out of both of these terms 3g over 2a out of both of these terms so then x is left from the first one from the second one 5a is left there's no 3 to take out so you have to divide by 3 right so now then we have the required equation of motion so 3g over 2a take as omega squared x minus 5a over 3 equals 0 where omega is root 3g over 2a right so that part is also done so this is the equation of the motion of the particle right right then what do they want us to do rewrite the above equation of motion by taking this substitution capital x equals x minus 5a over 3 right let's do that capital x equals x minus 5a over 3 that means what first derivative with respect to time x dot is equal to simple x dot and x double dot is equal to simple x double dot right so using that we can replace everything here x simple x double dot is going to be just capital x double dot plus omega squared simple x minus 5a over 3 is our substitution so that is capital x equals 0 or x double dot equals minus omega squared over x so this is what this is a simple harmonic motion then this is the equation that represents simple harmonic motion so we are dealing with a simple harmonic motion there right so that part is done so then we have to find the center amplitude and period of the simple harmonic motion of the particle right so in this form center is where center is so to find center at the center we know what acceleration is zero so we use that at the center x double dot will be equal to zero so that implies omega squared x is zero omega is positive so that implies capital x is zero so that is what capital x is this one x minus simple x minus 5a over 3 so then center is 5a over 3 so yes yeah, 5a over 3 so this is measured from uh, o the highest position from o up to p so that is going to be our center it is 5a over 3 right then what amplitude amplitude we can find using what uh, right we know what maximum length is what on this one 3 a you know the article becomes comes to an instantaneous rate set b so maximum length from o is 3a so we'll use that 
so then amplitude is what max length minus length up to the center so that will give you amplitude so that is 4a over 3 so amplitude is 4a over 3 right. then we need to find period right period is given by 2 pi over omega so we'll use that period is 2 pi over omega omega we found omega is root 3g over 2a root 3g over 2a so that is the period of this simple harmonic motion 2a over 3g right so that part is done what is the next part right using this formula capital C is the amplitude find the maximum speed of P so let's use this formula x dot squared omega squared c squared minus x squared right so this is velocity no x dot is velocity so this is x dot squared so when does this become max when capital x is equal to zero no? at the center of the simple harmonic motion so substitute that so then x dot squared is equal to omega squared c squared or the maximum speed is what x dot is equal to omega c omega we know no? omega is root 3g over 2a and amplitude also we found what is the amplitude 4a over 3 so now just simplify this and we get maximum speed of the particle so we have 3g over 2a times put it inside the square root so 16a squared over 9 so simplify you get what 2a a, a cancel 8a 3 8a g over 3 right that is the maximum speed of the particle p right okay